What's up guys, today we're here at a local park and I wanted to talk about something really important, uh, something that's gonna help you not only in soccer but in life and that's setting goals. And of course we're not talking about soccer goals, we're talking about the type of goals you kind of set uh, when you're trying to achieve something. The reason I haven't been making videos, FYI, is the weather's been pretty bad. You know, San Antonio didn't get hit as bad as Houston, but it has been pretty bad. And I also I pulled my my hamstring slightly, so I didn't want to I didn't want to really push it. And right now that's why we're going for a walk instead of a run. Uh, I don't usually bring my camera because when I'm running and all that bouncing, I don't really like it. But I figured since I'm hurt and I kind of need to just put a little weight on the leg, I could bring my camera out and show you guys this park, which is one of my favorites. Nice. And I guess today's video kind of ties into that whole thing of me not doing videos and goal setting and why it's done. You know, why, why put that pressure on yourself to accomplish a certain thing? Check out these trees. <laughs> They're so huge. I really like this park because of all the all of the trees and the water. There's a lot of animals, and there's like never any people. Like there, there'll be a couple of joggers, but for the most part, it's a pretty, uh, pretty like empty park, which is good for recording. And I really think it's it's kind of like human nature to seek uh, the path with the least resistance, to seek comfort, uh, to seek not suffering as much as you can. So uh, that's why a lot of a lot of the times people will find a job that they can tolerate, and just so they don't have to look for another job or they don't have to like find a different way, they'll stay in that job. Check this out. Isn't that amazing? Damn. All right, so then let's say you go to school or you have a job. The reason you stay in school is because there's repercussions if you were to leave. Like, for example, uh, your principal would call, your teacher would call, your parents and, and, you know, and let them know that you didn't go to school. Exact same way for work. If you don't go to work, well, you can get fired or you just don't get paid and then you don't make money and then you can't do the things that you want or that you have to do just to survive. So in these scenarios, you kind of do the things that society planned out for you. You're never really going to do your own things because there's no repercussions to doing other things. And by other things I mean like making YouTube videos or working out or just in general anything that is not kind of guideline by society that is not something that people normally do or just something that that you have to do in order to get by so you know working out making YouTube videos uh, talking to people that <laughs> Is becoming less and less necessary in, in today's society as long as you go to your job and do your thing you know socializing is kind of becoming just an option outside of, of work that's why we're we're in our phones and we're just trying to avoid anything that might make us uncomfortable okay so if we talk about the most recent and most obvious kind of goal setting uh, it would be the hundred day and hundred videos now obviously I haven't kept a hundred percent completely with that series but I have made almost 40 videos in the last two months. Something that I would not have done if I didn't create that goal in my mind. Uh, and more than that, I felt horrible not doing videos this week. You know, it wasn't so much because of me. Hold on, there's, there's some mud. Ah. All right, so it wasn't so much because, you know, my fault, the weather was pretty horrible. My hamstring hurt and in theory I could have made videos inside about like like talking and stuff but you know it would have just lowered the quality of the videos but nevertheless the point here is that because I've created this goal in my mind all of a sudden 
I hold myself accountable and I feel bad if I don't do it. Something that before, if I had just thought about it and I had just like started making videos and I did not set the goal, stopping wouldn't have hurt and it would have been easier for me to quit and for me to stop. So that really shows you the power of, of creating a defined goal and, and knowing where you're going while you're doing the things you're doing. And also don't ever make the mistake of thinking everything's gonna happen randomly. You're gonna get lucky and you're gonna reach your destination or where you are going. That's not how life works and you're way more likely to fail. Even though there might be days where you feel a little more motivated or inspired, maybe you watch the video and you just feel good, that's not how things work. And for the bad days where you don't feel that motivated, you really wanna have something to hold on to. You really wanna have a vision, you really wanna have some goals that you set in order to accomplish or to at least go in the direction that you want to, in the direction that you envision one day where you were inspired and when you did see things clearly. Only then will you really begin to get lucky or to begin getting opportunities. Like, you know, I've had the pleasure to meet famous soccer players. I've got to travel certain places and people would tell me, oh, you're, you're so lucky. Nah, it's not luck. Everything was envisioned. Maybe I didn't see the exact opportunities I was going to get, but I did do this in order to open up doors for me to, to see new things that otherwise I would not have been able to see. All right, I think I'm lost. <laughs> this might be my final video. If you guys find this, you know, tell my mom I love her. Uh, we're not lost anymore, I think. I think I know this place. Yep. I think we're gonna end it right here with this, with this view right here. Check it out. My favorite part of the whole park. Whew. That's all for today. Tomorrow we continue daily video uploads. I'll leave you with this.